44 seconds after this introduction, you're going to see the evolution of dedicated predator-prey behavior. But first, let me explain what's going on. AI world is a simulation of a world populated with creatures where every one of them is created equal. The only adaptation that can make them more fit to survive is to be more intelligent. The world you're looking at is already well developed. It is run for something like 10 million iterations and the agents in it are reasonably advanced. The colorful map in the upper left shows a pixel for each agent where the color represents their species. It's actually a hash of their neural network brain, but that's not important now. The graph to the right of it shows what decisions agents are making. You'll notice a lot of green, which is agents choosing to grow. Some agents are attacking, which are colored in red in this decision map. If you look closely enough, you'll see that this attacking is not specific to any particular species when comparing to that color map on the left. You'll also notice they're not very good at it. The stats on the left show that 96% of all attacking agents are failing, which is to say they're attacking empty space. The graph below shows agents' energy, with red being less and green being more. You'll notice that there's a pretty wide spread of energies. Now let's watch the simulation run so you can get a sense of what normal looks like in their world. Wait, we almost missed it. Something very important just happened. A few frames ago, the world had about 3,000 agents in it. Now it is barely over 1,000. Also, the rate of attacks has spiked from about 3% to as high as 13%. Let's go back and see what we missed. This is the last save point right before it happens. And this is the save point right after it begins. We can see that there's a new species that just evolved, purple. They must be aggressive, because the area they're in is significantly depopulated. Moving forward a few slides, we can see purple agents moving down into the center of the map. Notice that in this last time, map, time step, about 4,000 agents have been killed by attacks and 4,000 killed by starving. And now if we take a step forward, that number of killed by starving jumps fivefold to about 20,000, and killed from attacks is similar. During that last period, 13% of all decisions made were the decision to attack. What we're seeing here is the first effects of a new hyperaggressive species. Now let's move forward again and see how it turns out. Most noticeable here is that the average energy has dropped from thousands to barely over a hundred. But not everyone is having a hard time. On the energy map at the bottom, we're seeing a smattering of agents that are still green, agents that have energy well over a thousand. Looking at the species color map, we can match up which agents have high energy with what species they are. Almost every agent with high energy is purple, the aggressive species. At this point, there are a few purple agents compared to earlier, but now they're much stronger than the other agents in the world. As we play the simulation forward, we see that the population does not grow nor significantly decline. These purple agents have reached homeostasis with the world as the dominant predator with the other agents surviving as their prey.